They're a great football team. You know, they're a historic football team. They've been doing this for a long time the right way. Uh, our guys fought really, really hard. Um, I thought we played harder, especially defensively, than we did last week, which was a good sign against a greater competition. But in the end, we kind of ran out of gas. 85 scholarships caught 63 scholarships in the heat and the humidity a little bit. And uh, we got a little tired. I ain't saying that. We got a little tired. And then too many turnovers, too many missed opportunities in the red zone offensively in the first half. And, you know, you just can't miss opportunities. you got to play darn near flawless when you're playing a team of this caliber. How do you feel your guys did answering that challenge of playing hard, um, coming into this kind of arena or stadium with the noise and the atmosphere? I think that they've played relatively unfazed. I think that the University of Florida had no idea who and what Towson University was, and they do now. To a man, each one of those kids was somewhat humbled when they came and saw us and uh, after shaking hands. And that was a really, really great football team that we played. It's an undefeated football team. It's top 10 in the country. And uh, our guys don't back down. I think it's a great test, and it shows us exactly who we can be for the rest of the year. Get a much needed bye week now. And what's, the, what's the plan for the bye week? Plans for the bye weeks to get healthy and get better. And in the meantime, hold on. I don't want to take, steal your thunder. To all the Towson faithful that came, thank you. You have no idea what you've done for these kids and this program. And their hearts are swelling because of you, that they know that they were supported this far away from home against a task that nobody would have ever believed they had a chance to even be in the ballgame. Thank you.